All right, hello everyone, Rob here, ScrappyDo.com, and in this video we're going to show you, I thought it would be really neat to uh, to take uh, maybe someone's signature. Uh, you know, you, I always see folks always taking pictures of signatures and making vinyl out of them. But uh, I also wanted to see if we would be able to take a signature and maybe use a pen or even a marker to, to draw the signature instead of maybe cutting it out in vinyl. So it, it had me think about, well, how can we do this inside Shortcuts Lot to create it easily and then uh, go ahead and use our machine to actually, that you know, that has a pen uh, or even a marker in there to be able to go ahead and uh, draw it out there for us. So any, anyways, uh, I, I took the signature, took a picture of it, and then uh, you, you can see here, uh, the, the lines here, um, you know, pretty, pretty smooth curves and stuff uh, of a signature, and... And yeah, yeah it, it seemed to turn out pretty good. So I thought I'd uh, make a video on how that it would be possible inside your cuts a lot five. Uh, you can even do this in four as well. But um, but yeah, let's go ahead and, and get started with it. So the, the first thing is, uh, how do you get the picture and, and stuff into shortcuts a lot? Well, uh, the, the first thing that you need to do is take a picture of it, and then you need to go ahead and trace it. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, the, uh, the image here. I just got this off of Google, by the way. I have no idea who it is. And then I'm going to choose monochrome and I'm going to go ahead and hit on the OK button. And so that's going to bring that uh, in, bring that into here. Uh, what I will do is I'll, I'll go ahead and with it being selected, I'm going to change the fill color here to, to something that I can like see through. And I, I chose red. Red seemed to be a good color. And then I'm going to go ahead and change the opacity on it, which makes it a little more see through. Okay. Now the next step, obviously, we want to zoom in. And uh, I want to lock this in place, so that way uh, I can't like accidentally move it and stuff. All right. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more, and then I'm going to go to the pen tool. So this is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if any of you have ever used it or not. Um, it allows you to to draw shapes and stuff, but we're going to use it to draw single lines. And uh, I'm I'm not going to go in any particular order, but uh, I'm I'm just going to sort of do the Z first, and then uh, I'll work on the J and and everything. And I'm going to show you. Uh, a neat way to to do this because signatures are usually smooth and fluid, not jagged, and uh, th this allows you to to do it that way. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make my first point here. I'm going to make another point like right here. And remember, we're trying to get this stuff in the in the center. And uh, keep in mind that this line that you see here, uh, don't worry if it's not in the center yet. We just want to make sure that those points that we're putting in are are, are on the center. I'm going to show you how we can adjust these. Uh, a little bit later. Okay, so uh, again, I'm just you know clicking where I think the the stroke should be, and I'm making sure that I'm putting a point right there on the the curve aspect of it. Okay, so anyways, you can see that uh, that looks nothing like uh, the the shape yet, but we're going to mold it into it. Okay, so uh, once we're done with the stroke, I'm going to hit the escape button on the keyboard. Uh, again, we can sort of see uh, what's going on there. It uh, doesn't look that great. So I'm going to uh, use this tool here, the Shape tool, and I'm going to select everything. And I'm going to choose this button up here, um, the little cusp. And that, that, would allow, that allows me to essentially take this line here and like mold it to where I want it to go. I don't know if you, hopefully you guys can, you can see this here in the video. But I'm just dragging the, or just pushing and, and pulling. And what you're looking for is that little wave symbol, that little, the mouse turning into a wave symbol. And that's what's making this thing look, uh, look smooth once we, once we get it to where we want it. Okay. So once you, once essentially you, you have the shape that you need, uh, we're done with it. We can hit the lock button and that way we don't alter it again. Okay. So then we're just moving into the moving into the next shape. Okay, so uh, very similar. I'm, I am going to show you a, a little bit of a different technique once you start getting familiar with the pen tool. Uh, you can almost start uh, start doing the curves um, manually as you're as you're going through it and stuff. So, uh, anyways, it's it's really uh, a neat way to to draw things out. So you can see I'm, I'm just cl left click, hold, drag, left click, hold, drag. And then I'm going to go ahead and go here. And then I'm going to hit the escape button. Okay. And then it's time to, uh, we, we can do the same thing again if we want. 
where we uh, go ahead and select what we just did and uh, make sure we choose the cusps and then we can reshape if we need. Okay. So I know it seems like a little bit tedious, but I'm at the the work is going to pay off uh, in the end. Okay. So all right, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, somewhat fast forward to uh, the next parts, um, and that way you guys don't have to to watch what's all going on next because uh, that could seem uh, seem quite quite boring there. Okay. But anyways, you, you can just see that I'm just going to go ahead and move on to the next letters here. All right. All right, so now now that it's finished and everything, I mean, you can sort of see what it looks like. And uh, before we go and actually put this in uh, into cut mode here or draw mode, um, you know, we have to turn off uh, the very bottom most layer. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn that off, and there's the signature. And now we can go up here to uh, to cutter, and uh, you know, you can choose your cutter. I'm going to go ahead and choose. Uh, this right here, origin point, and I'm going to go ahead and hit the cut button, and then you guys can sort of see uh, what this looks like, uh, what it's going to be doing on the actual machine and everything. Okay, but here she goes. So you see it just through the Z, and now it's drawing the signature. Again, you can make this as big or small that you want. I sort of blew it up there just to to get uh, an idea of what that looks like and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, get that a little bit closer so you can see what it looks like. Alright so there you go there's the there's the signature and again uh, real, real quick and easy and for you folks that are looking to like well I don't have that machine well if you have a machine that has a pen uh, you you can definitely and, and shortcuts lot 5 doesn't work with your stuff uh, you you can definitely select everything you know like a um, edit select all and um, well make sure you unlock everything first uh, edit uh, select all and then uh, what you can do is you can go ahead and, and export uh, export everything to an SVG file so file export to SVG and then you can go ahead and bring that into any kind of cutting software that you have whether that be uh, you know, the Cricut Design Space, Brother Scan and Cut, that kind of stuff. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you next time. Okay.